Hi everyone, Shai here. I hope all of you are doing good. Welcome to another new video. Technology has already changed our world. I mean, who knew that we'd be able to click a switch to illuminate the darkness rather than lighting a candle? It's wild. But the technology we have today and will have in the future is absolutely insane. From robotics to quantum computing to help us in our jobs, here are some emerging technologies that will change the world. Number 1. The Metaverse You'd be forgiven for not knowing what the Metaverse is. After all, it's something that hasn't existed for very long. Meta means next or beyond in Greek, so we're talking about beyond this universe or the next universe. It's a crazy idea. But a metaverse is basically a 3D form of the internet we have today, like a digital universe with individual avatars, and we can interact with other people's avatars. It's basically like a more advanced version of Habo Hotel. And if you think there wouldn't be many real-world advantages to having a metaverse, you'd be wrong. It could, and likely will, change our lives in many ways. For example, if you've always wanted to travel but don't have the funds or abilities to do so, you can travel in the metaverse. You can interact with people and places, pay for various services in Bitcoin, and still never leave your home. Or, if it's been some time since you've caught up with a friend due to them living far away, you could meet up with them in the metaverse for a coffee, almost like you were sitting in the same room together. Soon enough, you might even be able to go shopping in the metaverse. Your avatar can try on clothes to make sure they suit you, and you can then pay for them to be delivered to your physical location. The future is gonna be wild, and I can't wait. Number 2. Robotics Robotics describes the engineering branch of robots, including their conception, design, creation, application, and use. When you hear the word robot, you might picture a clunky metal critter from an old school film that can say a few phrases. But they are much more advanced and helpful today than ever before, and their future is also looking bright. Already, robots are being used in various industries like healthcare to assist in surgeries, manufacturing on assembly lines, and even in space exploration with Mars Explorer robots. We even benefit from them in our home lives, with robots vacuuming our floors and mowing our lawns. There are many reasons why businesses and individuals might welcome robots with open arms. They can work in hazardous environments too unsafe for humans, and they can increase productivity while employees need to take breaks on the manufacturing line. Robots don't. They also don't get sick or take paid time off. The future is looking pretty bright as far as robots are concerned. With the help of artificial intelligence, robots can now identify and recognize objects, and they're also gaining fine motor skills to pick up items without crushing them into dust. Robots now have motion control and navigation down to a fine art, which means they can self-navigate without you having to control their every move. Number 3. Natural Language Processing if you were to try and talk to your phone just a decade ago, people would think you were crazy. Your phone can understand you, and you have to press the buttons and tap the screen to get it to do what you want. That used to be the case, but natural language processing has changed all that. Now we can ask our phone's unique virtual personal assistants to do things for us. Not only can we use our own voices to get our phones to send text messages, but we can also ask where the nearest gas station is or what the phone number is for the nearest pizza restaurant. This is a massive upgrade from just a few years ago when, even though we could talk to our phones, we had to be more specific. We had to say things like search pizza restaurant in a particular zip code, town, or city. We are also now using natural language processing for home devices like smart speakers. As soon as you wake up, you can ask the speaker what the weather will be like, and you'll enjoy detailed localized weather information. Before moving on to the next point, I'd like to take a moment to introduce you all to my merchandise. You can support my content by getting your favorite products from my store or by simply joining my channel. Your support means a lot to me. Now, let's get back to the video. Number 4. Quantum Computing Quantum computing is complex, and most people won't know what it is or how it works. But that doesn't mean we never will, it'll just take time. Quantum computing is a form of technology that harnesses the laws of quantum mechanics like entanglement and superposition to solve problems that our traditional computers can't. You might think that everything we need to find and know is available in a Google search engine. But that's not the case. Often, engineers and scientists encounter complex problems and rely on supercomputers with thousands of GPU and CPU cores. But even with these powerful computers, they still can't get the information they need. And that's where quantum computing comes in. While a supercomputer might quickly sort through a database of protein sequences, it can't always see data patterns and figure out how the proteins behave. 
quantum computing can because it takes a different approach. Quantum algorithms are built for complex problems, even though they are smaller and require less energy. Most quantum processors are hardly bigger than those you find in a laptop, and the hardware system is about the size of a car. And saying that they are very complex, they need superfluids to remain at temperatures of about one hundredth of a degree above zero degrees, and they use something called Josephson's injunctions so that we can control their behavior. These Josephson junctions are used as superconducting qubits that hold, change, and read quantum information. Number 5. Spin Launch We're all finding more energy efficient and environmentally friendly ways to do things, so it was only a matter of time before companies looked at how to make space travel a bit better on the wallet and the planet. Today's rockets have thousands of highly complex parts that are either thrown out or must be refurbished at considerable cost. Spin Launch believed they could change that. They wanted to create a rocket that could reuse the centrifuge repeatedly, significantly reducing the cost of space missions. Spin Launch is a startup company that has so far completed about nine high-altitude test flights of a scaled-down version of its invention. They created spin projectiles which use centrifugal force to generate the energy necessary to send something into space. They aim to use a small ballpoint pen-shaped rocket encapsulating a satellite and tether it to a motor in a large vacuum-sealed chamber. The rocket would then come out of a hatch, and once it reaches the edges of the atmosphere, the onboard rocket motor would fire up to propel it even further. It's such a great idea that well-known companies like Airbus Ventures and Google Ventures have poured millions of dollars into it. According to Spin Launch CEO Jonathan Yaney, the company was about taking a fresh look at how we can use ground-based and renewable energy to do things differently. Number 6. Cybersecurity Mesh Cybersecurity Mesh is a security architecture that secures the individual access points of a network. Sure, we already have firewalls and antivirus software, but these were designed for physical organizations and the networks and infrastructure within them. We're now on the move with laptops, phones, and tablets, so we need something to protect us outside those perimeters. So this is what cybersecurity mesh is. It extends that security perimeter around people rather than physical locations. Security mesh is far more flexible and robust than simple walls and provides different access and security levels to reduce network hacking risks. Cybersecurity mesh also has different layers to help all security controls work harmoniously. These include security analytics and intelligence, which combine data and information between technology types. Then there's distributed identity fabric, which helps you build zero-trust architecture with adaptability to your needs, such as identity proofing, directory services, and decentralized identity management. You've also got dashboards so your security team can see your entire security ecosystem in one place and centralized policy and posture management for unique security tool configuration. Perhaps the most significant benefit to businesses is that cybersecurity mesh helps your business detect threats in real time so that you can act quickly. You can also rest assured that your assets like devices and data can be far better protected. Number 7. Cloud Native Platforms Cloud Native Platforms describe building apps and operating systems explicitly for the cloud and to take advantage of the cloud's offerings. The emergence of cloud native technologies has meant that businesses and organizations are encouraged to build and operate their apps in public, private, and hybrid cloud types. By doing so, they can enjoy many benefits such as scalability and easy modifications. Currently, there are three popular cloud-native applications, software containers, software-defined infrastructure, and microservers. Software containers are mobile operating systems developed into apps and software components. The containers are small, reusable, fast, and easy to deploy. Software-defined infrastructures are all about helping businesses reallocate and scale up or down their resources. They're desirable for being easy to stop or start. Then there are microservices, which are software services that can be merged into a complete application. Their purpose is to make applications more flexible and extend their capabilities. Cloud-native platforms are complicated to understand, so why are businesses trying to learn more about them? Well, basically, they want to benefit from a more streamlined software development life cycle, one which can take care of its own bugs and slow loading speeds while being easier to manage, more reliable, and more cost-effective. So, that was all for today. I hope you have watched the video up to this timestamp. Make sure to press the like button if it amazed you. Press the subscribe button if you still haven't subscribed to the channel, as it's totally free. You can follow me on all social media platforms. All links are given in the description.
you can also watch other cool stuff. The playlist link is also mentioned in the description. I will catch you up soon in the next video. Till then, peace out.